Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Nur Al-Hafizah binti Abu Sama. I am a student. So, uh, my nephew wants to ask me, uh, Aunty Fiza, where is Allah? So, I am I I got no answer. So, I stumbled up the Quran and I found a surah a saj, uh, a surah, surah uh, which is surah as-sajdah and I forgot which verse. Uh, but it mentioned ثم استوى عن العرش So I am wondering uh, Does Allah live in Arsh? And what what does what does it mean by astawa uh, and what does it mean by al uh, So the next question is by uh, my friend's question I'm sorry, uh, she wrote it uh, I see division in Muslim today There are some who follow four madhab and some are Wahhabi uh, problem started when they are telling each other wrong. So what, what, what is your advice? And the third question is, I'm sorry, but this is my friend's question. Uh, as a Muslim doctor, you are a Muslim doctor, uh, what is your stand uh, on vaccines? That's all. So there are three questions. Last question, there are three in one. The first question asked by her niece, that where is Allah? And she stumbled across the verse of Surah Sajda, Allah is on us, and that's correct. But the answer of yours is correct, that Allah is established on his throne. But Allah also says in Surah Shura, chapter number 42, verse number 11, Laisa la kamisli shay. There is nothing whatever like him. Allah hears and sees, but Allah does not hear and see like you and me, like our ears and our eyes. So you say, how is the arsh? You start thinking of a chair. How is Allah's arsh? Allah wal. So, Quran says Allah is on Arsh, that is the right answer. And this Arsh extends throughout. We have a thinking, you know, Arsh how. So, whatever description is given in the Hadith, we accept it. We don't add to it. There are various Hadith. There is a Hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu that the lady came to the, uh, her lady was there. And Prophet wanted to test her. Is she a mu'min or not? So, Allah, so the Prophet asked her, where is Allah? She said, on top. The Prophet said, she has Iman. That's the reason when we do dua, we put our hand on the top. Correct? Yeah. So you can give the answer, Allah is on top, that's also correct. Allah is on arsh, that's also correct. Both answers are correct. Oh, so the, uh, I could say to my nephew, Allah is everywhere. No. No. Uh. Now you're falling into a trap. I know there are some people who say Allah is everywhere, but there's no text. Yes, Allah is everywhere by power. Mm. What does Hadith say, Allah is on top? I know there are some people who do say. But what we have to realize that when talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do not, do not add anything of your own. It's very dangerous. Some people explain, yes, Allah by power is everywhere. He has power over everything. Many verses. But Quran says he's on earth, he's on earth. Allah is on top, the Hadith says Allah is on top. It's better not to add. The Prophet said, don't waste too much time on discussing on about Allah. And you say something, you make a mistake. Best is to repeat the verse of the Quran, very safe. There's no way in the Quran which says Allah is everywhere. Mm. I know there are many Muslims who believe in that. It is safe to repeat a verse of the Quran, you can never be wrong. Regarding the second question. Second question was vaccine, or third question was vaccine? Uh, the trick question on vaccines. The second question is about the madhab. The madhab. Father. There are so many madhabs and each madhab is criticizing each other. I have given the talk on unity in the Muslim Ummah on the 10th of this month. I gave in Tarangana, Kuala Tarangana. And there I said that all the four Imams, Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him. Imam Shafi, may Allah have mercy on him. Imam Malik, may Allah have mercy on him. And as well as the fourth Imam, Imam <laughs> Ahmed ibn Hanbal, may Allah have mercy on him. And there were many other Ayyamahs. These four were more famous. All the Ayyamahs, they said that if you find a Hadith which is Sahih, that is my madhab. All the Ayyamahs said that if you find any of my opinion, any of my fatwa, which is against the book of Allah and the Hadith of the Prophet, ignore my fatwa. They did not come to fight. They were all loving. They gave the opinion. And they all, and if you analyze more than 95%, all the opinions are the same. They may differ in 2, 3, 4%. And all the Imma said that if you find my opinion which is against the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, you ignore my opinion. They came to spread the deen and get the Muslim Ummah closer to Quran and Sunnah. Unfortunately, we are fighting. 
Only way we can come close, Allah says in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 103, Wa tasimu bi abnillahi jamia wala tafarraku, hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. Hope that answers the question. Regarding use of vaccine, if the vaccine contains anything which is haram, and if it's a drug which is going to save your life, this is the ruling. If you are using a medicine, and if that medicine is the only medicine that can save your life, even if it contains alcohol, it is permitted. If it contains certain things like pig, if it's the insulin, if you have an option of bovine insulin, cow insulin, no problem. But if you have no other option, and if you use a drug, even though it contains alcohol or contains something which is haram, and if that drug is the only drug that can save you, it is permitted in Islam. Otherwise, in a normal circumstance, it is haram. Hope that answers the question. Wa akhra dawan, alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.